Hey everybody, this is Louie. Welcome to uh, a new kind of video for me here. This is a brand new game and I just wanted to do a little video, just sort of introduce it to you, talk about some of the gameplay mechanics. It's Starhammer, uh, the Vanguard Prophecy. I have never played this kind of game before. I've, I always just play military games, military history, but uh, this is obviously not a military history game. This is a science fiction game, but I decided it looked kind of fun and it was cheap. It's under 18 bucks, so why not go ahead and uh, do so? So I played through it once uh, and uh, it didn't record because I, I found that my video recorder, my screen recorder, when these things are on full, won't record. Don't ask me why. So uh, <laughs> if you have any ideas, let me know. But uh, so I'm going to go ahead and play through this again. Sorry, I wanted to actually show you the first time through because this these mechanics and everything are all new to me. I have watched a couple of videos that explain this. Now this is uh, this is a game where you play a character. It's uh, it's a woman, so that's a little weird for me being a guy whose last name isn't Jenner, but whatever. Uh, you can ignore all that and just play for the for the fun and the tactics and the combat, which is what I do. But the story is there. If you're into that kind of stuff, then you know that's that's extra for you. Uh, it took me a little while to figure that out. So you can actually uh, ignore the uh, story parts of this and it has no effect on gameplay up here you see this communications log you'll will messages will come down there and all that and here's the story the mission description nine days ago but all you really need is down here under objectives complete the search and rescue training mission okay that's what i'm interested in there's a nice shot of some cool looking ships and here we are uh the uh, the screen is laid out. It's actually now see up here. This is what I'm talking about. It's all this. Yeah, Lieutenant Diesel, blah blah blah. Okay, so the new objective is to move to the waypoint, which is right there, obviously. And uh, the screen actually, once you figure it out, is set up very nicely. Um, you've got uh, the ships, all the ships that you command down here. They're a little hard to see because this thing isn't full screen anymore. And uh, Let's just click on this. That is the place where we're going. We don't want that one. So let's try this guy. You can move in and out by scrolling. Look at that, man. Get right up on it. So if you want to check your... Whoa, it scrolls really quickly. If you want to check your guys out, you can do that. And then there are different camera angles, too. There's the fixed one. There's the side. Uh, there's the overhead and this is kind of a map of the whole region so we'll stay here for now and when you click on a ship this little arc you see here is as far as you can move but down here is the interesting thing these are your shields and this is the energy thing now it's you'll notice it's set up right now what they call balance but there's presets down here for balanced full weapons full shields full engines and you can slide this manually anywhere you want to go and so since we we need to get somewhere in a hurry what I'm doing is I'm gonna put all of my ships on full uh, full engines because uh, actually I don't need to do there you go full engines uh, did I miss you yeah let's see full engines and whoa, we don't need to be that close. He's he is full engines. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry, I got it. There we go. Pay attention to what I'm doing here. That's full engines. That's full engines. And that's full engines. All right. So now, <clears throat> what we have to do is get our ships to move. And you do, the moving is simple. You just grab and uh, once you selected a ship, and you can move it any way you want to. So of course we want to go over here. So I'm going to pull this guy. Uh, just showing where I want him to go and uh, next up we'll click this guy hello there we go you can see this is a little fighter he's fast and very maneuverable and we're just gonna get him as far as we can the same with this guy we'll curve him a little bit and this one oops Come on. I do have a little trouble somehow getting there. Now when you <clears throat> when you move these guys, you can move, you notice, up or down. Like if I want him to go up, I can do that. Or if I want him to come down, uh, or all that stuff. 
and you can toggle weapons arc, which is actually really helpful because it shows you once you get into combat where your ships are going to hit. So we're going to do all that. Now this is a WeGo game, so I plan, the computer plans, and then we play. And you go through a short period of time here. So we're moving on. You'll notice, of course, the small ships are much faster than the big guy back here. Uh, but uh, there we go. So um, I think we're going to turn you just a little. And these guys, I think I'm just going to leave the same for now. So let's go. So far, and you can move the screen while your ships are moving. My graphic setting is on medium. It's not on super high. Uh, just because I don't want to, you know, slow the game down too much with my uh, with my laptop. So let's scroll in here a little bit. And so far we don't see anything. Um, so I think I'm gonna pull him like that. And. Um, I'm still trying to master the cameras. They still confuse me a little bit. Like this one seems just weird. You know, this game, because it's not on full screen now, it does not scroll as well. That's a drag. Um, okay, come on. Well, that's not going to do any good. All right, we're just going to stick with this for now and go ahead and see what we're getting ourselves into catch up to our ship there there we are now you see now you can see the Raiders um, look at that that's so weird it won't scroll up which it should I think oh well okay our jobs to is to uh, hit the Raiders you can see the Raiders here shields and hull now I'm about to enter battle so I need to rethink this whole engines only thing because you know that might not work out too well. So what we're going to do is, um, since I'm pretty close, I think for starters, I'm just going to pull this over here and really beef up my weapons and my shields. I don't know if you can hear that uh, sound effect, but it's pretty cool. And I really like this uh, this whole thing with the energy here. And in fact, I'm wondering. Um, hello that's right oh that's right uh, if you couldn't modify this and use it for like a World War II uh, airplane fighter thing it does ups and downs it the energy thing of course you could just use it as a throttle for the engine there's no shields or anything obviously so I don't know I don't know if that'd be possible but it might be interesting because the game is fun to play the dog fighting aspect of it here that you'll see in a second now here we go. I wonder if I can. Yeah, it's not doing what I want it to do, so never mind. I'll worry about this later. I want to turn. Actually, he's in pretty good shape, so we'll skip that. This guy, though, definitely. I'm turning. It's going to turn hard. And. Let's see here. Yeah, they're already in his arc, but we're turning into him. And this guy out here, we'll turn him a little bit too. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, they got him. Here we go. Bam, good hit on that guy. You can watch the numbers. Look at that. We got Raider, 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 Raider. Okay. And uh, over here on your shields, as you scroll through your ships, you can see how we're doing. We're, we're good there, good there, good there, good there. Because, of course, we haven't really done anything yet, so you would expect it to be pretty good. All right, so we're putting him here. This guy is going to turn hard. Look at that. See the smoke coming out of there? That means he's been hit pretty good. Look at that. The hull is 20% damage on the hull, so that's pretty good. These other two are fine. Um, and I think he's probably going to swing around. I think we're going to turn him. There we go. See, we got all this blah blah over here. Don't even have to worry about it unless you want to. And I don't. 
<laughs> I just want to nail me some. Ooh, nice. All right, look at that. Hull is 49%. That boy's in trouble. Uh, whoa, not that much. Come on now. And here we. Oh, that's the. Ra oh yeah, I forgot. When you double click on the raider, it does give you some interesting stats like their shields, their strengths, their weaknesses, all that. Okay, so hold on. So where, where? See, this is weird. It won't go down. I have to use my arrow keys because my arrow keys do take it down. All right, here we go. Gee, I couldn't see my own guy. Okay, we're gonna pull back and turn um, into that. This guy. I don't think we need to. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Keep him going there. My Corvette. Um, there. All right. All right. We got another one leaking fuel or whatever atmosphere over here. That's good. Oh, see, I keep clicking the raiders. I'm sorry. You can tell I'm still learning this game. <laughs> can you tell that? I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, so this guy. Yeah, I'm just going to bring him around there. These guys are like right on top of each other. That's probably not real good. So. Oh, that's a raider? Ooh, that's not good. Um, hmm. I'm going to turn him that way. And they're... Last game I played, they weren't so darn close to each other. It's really hard to see what's going on here. You can replay. I've never done that. Get this guy shot. 9% left. He's almost done. Okay, let's... Why don't we just... Can we... All right, we'll bring him around, take care of him. This guy, we're going to turn. And he's good. So let's see how it goes. Hmm. Ooh, look at this. See, this is what I forget to do. I forget to check my shields, my left shield. Now I can pull that up, but Neil notice, of course, what happens is everybody else has to reconfigure. Um, that looks okay. So let's just check our ships here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Holy moly. That's got to be coming up here. I'm just going to pull my top down a little bit. I want this up there. All right. Front's a little weak. That's, of course, where you take most of your hits most of the time. That'll do. And, yes, I'm making this up as I go along, in case you're wondering. Rear. Oh, this guy took some, some big hits in the rear. Wow. He doesn't have much on top, does he? Okay, now I've got to get... This guy's like right on him, so that's good. So where's my... Wait a minute. <laughs> he was going totally the wrong direction. I think I'll... S no, I'll swing him this way. And this guy... Yeah, let's just pull him there. All right. Let's see if we can knock these guys off. Come on, get them, boys. Nope. 
Hall 90, Hall 13. Okay. Wow. No, oh, it's all right. Come on. Oh, is his nap? You know, some of these ships, when you try to select them, if they've been damaged a little bit, it'll say, like, uh, navigation out or something. Um, hmm. Let's turn this guy around. And, yeah, I can't, can I? No. All right, that's fine. This guy. I'm going to take him straight in. And that leaves this guy who is totally not in the right spot. So we're going to turn him around as fast as we can. And let's back up. All right. Come on. Wow. Well, that was a bad turn. <laughs> Ooh, I got hit. Yeah, that does not sound good. Hello. Oh. Whoa. Am I getting hull damage here? I've never had hull damage before. In the other game that I played, none of my guys got hull damage. Um, I'm going to pull top down. Don't want to make rear too much. I'm going to give more to the shields too. Hate to do that, but that's just the way it goes, folks. And I am just not doing a good job staying on these guys. Naturally, the last game I did better, so of course that's the one that you don't get to see. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's not what I want. Okay, whatever. Let's just go and see what I got going here. Come on, blow him up, blow him up, blow him up, blow him up. Whoa. I don't like this at all. I want you to get... Yeah, maybe I should just leave it there. Let's just get you out of dodge. This guy is totally in the wrong place. This is the guy that I... How come I can't... There. Well, he's... Yeah, let's do that. Play. Come on. There we go. Gah! Okay. Now you're talking. Now, this guy... Now we can pull him back around because we don't have to worry too much about that. And take this one. And we'll take this one. And we'll even see if we can get this guy in the fight. There. All right. You'll notice they keep coming back. They don't, at least in this scenario, they don't run away. <laughs> so I don't know if these are like outer space kamikazes or what, but uh, they don't uh, do what certainly I would do if I was them, which would be to get the heck out of Dodge. And man, this guy's totally in the wrong spot. I'm going to turn him hard. Oop. There we go. 
Come on. Really? I don't understand why I'm having so much trouble killing this guy. But clearly I am. There. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Let's just pull you back around. There. Wow. I just want to see what's going to happen here if I just keep... Come on, we got to get him sooner or later. Or not. Okay, there we go. Did we get him? Yes, we did. Okay. Now you can click through here and you can see what your ships have done. Like uh, this guy's got no kills. This guy's got no kills. This guy's got a kill. And... You know, I think I did lose the ship. Well, who knows? Well, I'm aggressive. I'm 5.4, which is low. So I'm just going to proceed and uh, I'm going to call it quits because this is just an introductory kind of a let you see how the game probably shouldn't be played by me. So this is Louis saying thanks for tuning in and uh, let me know if you'd like to see more of Starhammer. See if I can figure it out better. Might be fun. So let me know and uh, I'll see you later.